Generally, a killing committed in self-defense doesn't result in criminal liability. But what if a person kills another under an unreasonable belief that self-defense is necessary? In People v. Elmore, we explore the unreasonable self-defense doctrine, also known as imperfect self-defense. Charles Elmore had a history of institutionalization for psychosis and schizophrenia. One afternoon, after exhibiting symptomatic behavior, Elmore attacked shopper Ella Suggs as she sat waiting for a bus. He stabbed her with a sharpened paintbrush handle, killing her. When police arrested Elmore, his erratic behavior necessitated a psychiatric evaluation. Elmore was charged with first-degree murder. He pleaded both not guilty and not guilty by reason of insanity, prompting a bifurcated trial with the first phase to assess guilt and the second to assess Elmore's sanity. At the guilt phase, Elmore requested a jury instruction on, among other things, unreasonable self-defense. He argued that he lacked the malice necessary for murder because, in his delusional state, he believed his actions were in self-defense. The trial court declined to issue the instruction, and Elmore was ultimately convicted of murder. The Court of Appeal affirmed the conviction, finding the unreasonable self-defense doctrine inapplicable if a defendant's mistaken belief about the need for self-defense stems from a delusion. Elmore appealed to the California Supreme Court.